grape jelly chili sauce. toss that up there all right welcome back y'all so I'm out at a, a one of my favorite spots um, and we have the potential for some inclement weather this evening uh, it might start raining uh, later this evening and then they're talking about the possibility that it could turn into snow in the morning um, but I'm at an electrical site and I'm about to get plugged in and we need to prepare dinner now so that it is ready to go and uh, We'll get that taken care of and then I think we're going to try to throw out my big tarp over the entire roof uh, so that I can keep the windows open because currently it's about 70 degrees. Uh, so the weather is going to change a little bit this evening, but if we could keep the windows open that would be great. So let's get after it and uh, let's get ourselves some dinner going quick. I have a crock pot and uh, I can't tell you the last time I've ever actually personally cooked with a crock pot. Um, I know I've never done anything like this on the YouTube channel so this should be something different but I've got some time so we're gonna get this set up and we're gonna get to cooking. Uh, I've got a bag here that we'll toss in there so I don't have to clean anything. bag of frozen meatballs. And I apologize for the wind. I know it's windy. They're a little bit smaller than I thought, but this says there should be about 22 of them in here. Dump those in. And we've got a couple more ingredients. So we are gonna dump an entire bottle of Heinz chili sauce and a bottle of grape jelly on there. Smells good. get as much of this as we can anyways I can save some of it I don't know how much you're supposed to use but we'll call that good that's about 90% of it dang it dropped it again Didn't get jelly anywhere did I just right there okay I'm gonna give this a little bit of stir should probably Actually, instead of stirring it and dirtying anything up, we'll just do this number. Mix it all together. Put her back down in there. Toss the lid on there. All right. 
right, let's get this guy plugged in. This that's not going to necessarily be in my way, but plugged in and I've got it set to low. I'm going to go ahead and set it on top of there just so it's not on the carpet. If I got to move it, I got to move it to grab a drink out of there. We're cooking. Hopefully this turns out all right. We shall, we shall see. Uh, okay, so next step is we are gonna go ahead and get the tarp thrown up and see how that works out for us. Well, y'all, I have the tarp set up. It's not perfect, but I'm gonna have to immediately take it down. Uh, and I gotta move the truck because there's something wrong with this plug-in here. As you can see, I'm plugged in. I just unplugged it from the side because I thought maybe there was something wrong with the wiring job that I did. But with it plugged in the side, I do get a green light that comes on. But as soon as I plug in the crock pot, it shuts off. So I thought maybe there's something wrong with this. So I plugged in my heater and my heater doesn't do anything either. So now I just have this straight to there. Breaker is on, I've reset it. I'll reset it again. Problem is you don't have a reset. It's not a GFCI or whatever outlet. So now I plug this in, which is the heater which is basically a test light for me because it would have a light here that lights up. I plug that in, nothing. Nothing works. It's funny because like I said, here I'll plug this back into the truck. I plug it in there. You can see I have a green light here, maybe, saying that it's good. There we go, right there. You can see it. Focus camera. I don't know why it's not focusing, but yes, you get a green light. But as soon as you plug that in, the green light goes away. So there's something wrong with this outlet. And that's a big bummer because I don't know if I wanna take the time to set this thing up again. Oh man, but I have to have electricity to cook and that extension cord isn't gonna reach anywhere else. I'm gonna move down this way a little ways, I think. And I'm, I'm not setting that tarp up again. Oh, man. Well, I'm gonna get this all torn down. I'm gonna get the truck moved. 
I'm gonna make sure I can get dinner started because it's gotta sit in there for a couple hours and now uh, I've been screwing around with this for an hour and it's already five o'clock, we're like 4.30. Uh, yeah, it's part of the game. I gotta get everything moved around and we'll get this started over, so stay tuned y'all. Look, look somebody just showed up. I have no idea where this dog came from, but. There we go. That's all right, puppy. Hi. You're a good doggy. Hi. Well, I think you gotta go back. I think you gotta go. Oh, he's all right. <laughs> Surprise dog visit. That, I guess, that makes all this junk, uh, it makes me feel a little bit better. All right, I gotta get back to work. All right, we're plugged back in. Um, all this junk here now. I have a full green light on my plug-in to make sure my heater works so that I know this turns on. There, I got a red light, the heater will turn on. We'll go ahead and unplug that. Plug our cooker back in. Make sure it's shut off. All right. Goose face. Well, we're moved. I moved one spot over, and I'm not. I'm not putting that up again. As much as I would like to be able to have it up tonight I'm not dealing with it uh, the ground is really soft my stakes were pulling out um, yeah kind of a bummer but I'm gonna clean this up quick and uh, actually before we do anything of the sort before we spend time cleaning Let's go ahead, grab ourselves a drink. We'll just leave that on the tailgate for now. Those geese are not happy out there. All right. Oh, so, we're gonna go ahead and crack open an old style. I don't know if I, I think I might have had this on the channel before, but it's been a while since I've had one uh, for sure. But yeah, Hellman's, Hellman's Pure Genuine Old Style Established 1902. Uh, it's a classic lager, old world methods, choice hop, sparkling pure spring water. And that's about all it says. G. Hellman Brewing Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And that's it. Man. That's never happened to me before. And it's really odd. There must be something wrong with the outlet because I was getting a green light on my, on my plug-in. So uh, I wish this thing had a light or something on it. So I knew it was turning on. I came over here and I like felt it to see if it was warming up at all and it wasn't warming up. And I knew I had an issue, so. I can already feel it, I think, getting warm. I turned it up to high. So, yeah, that's a bummer. That's a big bummer. <laughs> Another grand plan uh, put to the test and ruined. 
Oh, man. It just proves that you can never actually make things work out. Things just do what they're going to do. I don't even know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. But, cheers, guys. I think... I think we'll, uh, maybe we'll toss some hiking shoes on. We'll go for a little bit of a hike and uh, just let this stuff cook up. I think I'm going to grab my hoodie because it's starting to cool off already. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's starting to get cloudy back there. Uh, yeah. I need to get all this junk put away. And then we'll take a walk up this big hill over yonder. Well, it's actually a pretty big hill. I don't know if you can hear it, but there's a farmer, and it looks like it's gotta be horse poop. Um, there's a farmer over there, kind of tending fences. Uh, the wind has picked up and it's really cooled off. As you can see, I've got my hoodie on. I'll have to check my phone when I get back, but I believe we're actually in a winter storm warning, so. We'll take a look at that. Man, this hill is actually pretty steep. Well, we've made it up to uh, the top of the hill, and there's a good day use park structure here. Well, not much to it. It looks like the trail keeps going that way. But if you look back over here, you can see we're way up on top of the ridge. And you can barely see the water down there. If I walk back over this way, you might just be able to maybe see my truck. Not that far away. Yeah, there it is. Let's see if I can zoom in on her. Right there. Right there. Well, I'm going to keep walking over this way. See if we, maybe we can get a clearer view of everything. Since there's a lot of trees behind me. Can you see the water down there now? We're actually surprisingly far up. Walk over here. If you guys can tell at all how tall that is. Still can't see the truck very well. I just want to find a spot where I could have a, a line of sight to really show you guys. You can see the lake down there. And it goes way over the under. It's really skinny and long. <laughs> and then right down there, you can see there's another shelter. Maybe you can see it. There we go. I have actually done a walkthrough of that shelter down there. It's an old stone one. Uh, it's been a while. I really just wanted to get far enough around the curve, like I said, that I could see the truck. Ooh, it looks like we're coming up on kind of a, a big valley right in front of me. Oh yeah, so it goes, this goes straight down to the road that goes over there. And yeah, you can see the road coming in right there. Yeah, and it goes over 
and that shelter's right in that area. You can see the lake goes over there and it goes around. Uh, but still can't see the truck. I'm gonna head back that way. We'll get back down to the old truck and we'll get ourselves a fire going. So all we gotta do is we gotta just wait for dinner and it's gonna be uh, it's, with the electrical issues that I had, it's gonna be after dark before dinner's ready, I'm sure. So I'll see you guys back down at the truck. Well, y'all, it's actually already started sprinkling. Uh, it's not bad at all, but I don't really know what the when it's supposed to start. I guess I'll take a look. I thought I had a couple more hours. So we got a small percentage right here, uh, but by 10 p.m. it's a 75% chance in this area. And we are in a winter weather advisory from one o'clock in the morning until noon tomorrow and it says winter weather advisory in effect from 1 a.m. to noon uh, wet snow expected snow accumulations up to three inches winds gusting over 40 miles an hour will lead to periods of reduced visibility uh, and these hazardous conditions could impact the morning commute additionally strong winds and wet heavy snow could bring down tree branches so hope I don't have that issue here uh, but yeah we're gonna get some Rain and snow, I guess. We'll keep this fire going as long as we can. If it starts dumping rain on us, I guess we'll retreat into the truck. I grabbed another uh, cerveza out of there. And let me tell you what, those meatballs are smelling amazing. 
Uh, I wish you guys had smell -o vision on here. I have had a similar recipe before. The grape jelly is what sets it off. So I'm excited for uh, dinner tonight. Get rid of these sunglasses. Well, y'all, the rain's really starting to pick up. I think that's it for the wood, unless it breaks uh, for any amount of time. I don't really want to be soaking wet either all night. I suppose I could grab my raincoat. Although I've already got this all wet, I don't want to put a raincoat over it. But I should probably get that camera inside also before I have issues with it. It is raining pretty good out there. The fire is still going a little bit, but I'm getting soaking wet. Well, let me turn these lights on for you. Here we go. I'm sure you guys can hear the rain on the roof. That's really warm. It smells really good. So let's get this jacket off. Got my jammies on. I'm gonna get a movie going because, like I said, I've got a bit of time I think I'm gonna watch a movie and then I'll uh don't want to dump that over and then I'll get dinner make sure that's nice and cooked I put it on high for about an hour and now I've got it on low they were frozen meatballs so it's probably all right but we'll give her a movie's worth of time and just enjoy that We're going to watch the movie Antitrust. Antitrust? I don't think I've ever seen this from 2001. When Milo graduates from college and lands his dream job writing software at a multi-billion dollar computer company, he couldn't be more thrilled. The company's magnetic founder that he worshipped as a child is now his personal mentor. In his position, Milo uncovers some dark secrets about the firm and learns that he can't trust anyone but himself in the high-stakes world of computer technology. So, we'll give this a watch. Who does it say the actors are? It doesn't say. I think that's that's not Ryan Phillippe. I don't know who that is. Um, but yeah, we're gonna give this a watch. Twelve days left to watch it. actually pretty good um, it's surprisingly something I've never heard of before but we're gonna go ahead and give these meatballs a shot and the plan is to make meatball subs I've got some brat buns here that we're gonna throw them on and then I have some jalapeno and habanero jack cheese a block of cheese and I also have a cheese grater so we're going to throw some fresh cheese on these subs, I guess. Meatball subs and see what they're like. Uh, it is raining out there a little bit. Okay. It's 
smells so good. It smells so good. <laughs> Like a cheesy. Like a cheesy. And then let's throw a little bit more sauce on there. sauce tastes amazing all right nice melty meatball sub let's give this a whirl that is good a toasted bun would have made this a whole lot better but that is very good the grape jelly in there, I know it sounds weird, the grape jelly and the, the chili sauce, but as far as I know, that's like a really normal recipe, I guess. And man, it smells amazing and it tastes amazing. And those are just frozen meatballs. Saucy. Like a salsa. <coughs> Hot. Yep. Yeah. I gotta have another one of those. There's plenty of meatballs in here. What do we got? We got some tater chips. We're gonna spice it up even more with some. Doritos spicy nacho chips. We'll crush up a couple of those on top of there and then put the cheese on top. I don't have any hot sauce with me, otherwise I would. That does have a bit of a kick to it with that chili sauce, but I think it's very tasty. I like spicy foods. Some chips. Covered in cheese. Lots of cheese. Look at all that cheese. I covered everything up. All right. Now we need some more sauce. We need that thick sauce. Ooh. Look at that. Grape jelly chili sauce. finger. It's really hot on my finger. It's a drippy, ooey goodness. It is hot. Number two with the chips. I like that little bit of crunch. That's why I really like a toasted bun. Because if you don't have the crunch in, the, in anything else, you have the crunch with the toasted bun. 
if I had a toasted bun right now, that would make it, uh, that would probably make it complete. Well, y'all, that was very tasty. Let me get that little bit off the spoon there. But I need to get this cleaned up, and it's going to be very easy. I'll have to take this in and wash it. But other than that, uh, since I have this bag in the crock pot here, I can just take this out. And uh, I have plastic bags, but I also have, I have a couple of twisty ties over here. So I can just close this up and you can see that I've got a nice glob of goodness right here. But I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff cleaned up and then probably watch another movie. Listen to the rain. Enjoy the evening. slept in. Oh, it's already 10.30. I haven't slept that late in a long time. But it's just been raining. It rained all night. I don't know if you can still hear the rain going. The heater just kicked on. It's still raining. I think it's supposed to turn into snow at some point. My windows are a little fogged up. But yeah rain and the wind last night was pretty crazy too it was really windy yeah i definitely need to get up since it's 10 30 already yeah. oh it's all coming in it started snowing the hell a little bit of snow. It's not sticking to anything. Gotta get that back end closed up before everything gets soaking wet, but let me start this truck quick. Now I'm just gonna grab something. Gonna grab something out of the cooler too. The wind is still just raging out here. Look at that. I think it's covered in snow already. Gotta get this back end closed up. Huh. Right, didn't unlock this side. Yeah, I did. Man. Get unplugged here. cooler I was gonna grab that I completely forgot about it uh, but I think it's just time to get out of here got all my junk yeah don't fall camera don't fall down Enjoyed the night last night. Uh, <laughs> did the 
the crock pot meatballs were pretty dang good. Uh, and it was so easy to make. I just wish <laughs> the first spot that I backed into the electricity actually worked at. Uh, I might as well pull over here and dump my trash and I grab my grab myself a drink. Right. Un momento, please. <sighs> it's cold out there. What is my truck saying? The truck says it's 35 degrees. And I believe it. And no coffee this morning. We're having a Dr. Pepper. I don't drink a lot of soda, but a lot of pop, whatever you want to call it. Dr. Pepper has become my favorite, mostly because of my wife. I used to drink oh, like Mountain Dew all the time. Oh. I don't know if you guys can see the snow at all out there. Yeah, maybe a little bit. big hill coming up and out of this place. But the weather is actually beautiful. I enjoy this. It's, this might be the last snow of the year. We'll see. It could end up going all day. Who knows? But I don't think it's going to, nothing's going to really stick to the ground. The ground is warmed up and Everything that's falling out is melting anyways as soon as it hits the ground. The truck is going to be filthy by the time I get home. Well. All right, y'all, I think I'm gonna go ahead and close this one out. Like I said, the, the crock pot meatballs are great. I would definitely recommend that. Uh, if you've never tried it before, I thought it was good. I don't know if most people make uh, meatball subs out of them, but I felt like that was gonna be the best way to do it. And they tasted great with the fresh grated cheese on top. Nice and classy. And just an enjoyable evening at camp. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna close this one out. I hope you guys enjoyed it and stay tuned for the next adventure y'all. I'll see you in a bit.